So in the previous sequence, we were showing a ball going into the rail without any top spin or back spin. If you're playing the cue ball, sometimes you're going to have either top spin or back spin, depending on the situation on the table. So I've set up a 45 line into the cushion, and we're going to see how it comes off of the cushion along this 45. My first shot is going to be with a stunned cue ball. It is the cue ball is going to be sliding as well as I can get it without any spin into the rail. The theoretical bank angle, perfect angle, should bring it back to the 13. So let's see how this goes with the cue ball sliding into the cushion. Pretty close. Okay, this is a different situation where maybe I have to play the ball at slow speed and I'm much farther from the rail. That means that the cue ball is going to be rolling smoothly on the cloth when it gets to the cushion. Let's see how much that changes the angle. See how much the rolling ball length of the angle? That's because as the cue ball comes off the cushion, it still has spin in this direction, and that makes the ball curve. Maybe you could see a little bit of curve as it came off the cushion. That's why it's very important to know how the spin is going to be on the cushion, much more important than the speed. Here's another situation similar to the last one, except this time we have to play the cue ball at higher speed, maybe to get it away from the ball that we're going to hit. So I'm going to play this shot with full follow, so the cue ball is rolling smoothly on the cloth, but at much higher speed. Remember the previous shot that was a slow roller went way down onto the end cushion. Let's see where the cue ball goes this time with high speed and full follow. It appeared to shorten up quite a bit, that is it went straight into the pocket, but what really happened is that it came off the cushion here in this direction and the follow bent it forward, but it took a while. And so it ended up in the pocket rather than clear down on the rail. Okay, here's one last situation of banking the ball off the rail, the cue ball. You might want to put draw on the cue ball. This gets it to bend in the other direction than we saw with follow. This is a favorite way that Grady Matthews has to bank the cue ball into a ball uh, that he gets a lot of accuracy from. It's fun to try and watch the angle coming off the cushion. Quite a bit shorter. Did you see the curves that came off the rim?